So here we are at stage three of Darkest Dungeon, um, where we've been going through learning how to do object oriented programming, making ourselves a little text-based um, adventure game. So in stage three, as you can see here, our objectives are to create, we're gonna create a character and we're gonna add that characters, those characters into um, the room. So how are we gonna go about doing that? So we are going to go through these steps here. So you can see now I'm adding a new um, UML in a new class and that class is called character and you can see at the top up here the character they have um, the attributes or the properties of name description and conversation then they're all strings and they're going to in the end have all these functions to describe the character so you can talk to the character you can hug the character and you can fight the character okay so they're all our different possible methods that can actually happen for this character class so how are we going to be doing this? First of all, we're going to define the character um, class. We're going to create characters. We're going to add characters to the room. We're going to include the character in the um, uh, character in the room description. We're going to create the character interactions, the talk method, the hug method, and the fight method. And then we're going to add the interactions to the main loop as in um, one of the options that you can choose to do. So let's have a look. Let's get Thonny going. You see we've got our programs that we had there previously. We have got main and room, our two scripts that are going. So we're going to have to make a new script. And this new script is going to be called character. So I'm going to just go start new here. And we're going to do what we've been doing. We just put it at the top. This is uh, .py. So I can easily see what this actual file is. And then I can save it. And make sure that it's. I don't want to do new. I want to save it. Um, you down here. Save. So click here, and then it's in my same folder as the other two, which is important. And character.py is what it's going to be. So I've done that. Character.py and it's saved there. So what's the first thing that I need to do? Well, the first thing I need to do is I need to go about and actually um, define the class character. So we start there with our class keyword. Character is the actual class name. No, remember, it's capitalized because it's a name of a class. And then we need to have that special function which runs at the very beginning, a special method that runs at the very beginning whenever you create a object, um, which will be um, a character object. So that one is always, um, define underscore underscore there's two underscores in it so when you create a function when you create a character or any object out of a class um, it will always look for this function and it will look for the two underscores the in it and the following two underscores and that's the one that is going to be finding so in this case we actually have um, what gets passed into this function is self, so the actual object that is being defined, as well as the name of that character. So we can see that's the variable that's getting passed in the, ad, the argument that's being passed in. So remember, we like to say what these actual functions always do. And this one's going to um, initialize character object, radio. And then um, I, we go back to our, um, if we go back and look at our UML, there are three attributes, name, description, and conversation, which go in there. So let's go through what those are. So let's um, self, so remember we're referring to the object that has been, that this particular class has defined, self.name equals name. Okay, and then self. Uh, description so the description of the character that you've just made at the moment it's got none because it hasn't got any value we haven't given it anything we'll, we'll assign that later on and the same with conversation okay it's going to be none as well okay so that is our initialization um, method that we have created so what are the things that we actually want um, to do let's go back and have a look at these our priorities here, our, our to-dos. Define the character class, we need to create characters. Okay, so when I'm creating the characters, I need to be able to put the description, yeah. Okay, so let's go into, save this, and now go into main, and I need to actually create our characters. So, let me see, I've got 
out here after I've created the rooms and I've linked the rooms together in this section here I'm now going to and actually put a comment up to say what I'm doing I am going to create characters all right I'm going to create two characters so the first character is Eugene because I want him to be careful with the axe um, and Eugene oh actually before I do that I need to import character from characters from character import uh, character okay so now I should be able to import character that's right so Eugene is a character and he has the name Eugene All right and then while I'm here I'm going to say this is what his description is so Eugene's description equals and I'm just going to save you watching me type and put that up here right yeah so there that is my my first character he is Eugene he is a huge troll with rotting teeth beautiful now the second one I need to do is um, Nigel now actually come back and have a look here do I need to put a conversation in for Eugene well like Eugene's a troll, so you don't really converse with trolls. You just run away from them. So I'm not going to worry about putting a conversation with him. So Eugene's, by default, his his conversation is going to be, um, whatever he is, is going to be none. Radio, because we haven't written over the top of it. Now Nigel is another character. And I'm going to give him his name. Nigel. Okay. And Nigel is, give him a description, and he is, and again, I will save you from experiencing my horrible typing. Billy Dwarf of Golden Beard and wove with gold, golden bead, beads um, woven through his beard. That makes more sense. Radio, so Nigel is a burly dwarf with golden beads woven for his beard. And then um, Nigel equal the conversation that Nigel's going to say is um, Well, young'un, what are you doing here? So, Radio, so we've got Nigel and he's got a conversation that's been put in there. Cool. So, I've got that information in there. So, what's, so I've now created my, my characters. And I've given them descriptions and I've given Nigel a conversation. So what else do we need to do? It wants to um, add characters to the room. Mm. So how am I going to do that? So I could say, you could say what room? That's a function that can actually go somewhere. So it's a, it's a function that can actually go into either room or character. Now we've put it into the room we're saying this is the character that exists in the room so it's a character and character there so um let's go back to the room so i'm going to save this one back to the room function actually before i save it now i've done that i'm just going to run it it shouldn't make any difference but it runs i haven't got a um a syntax error so i haven't done any typos in that that's cool um quit radio so let's go into room and now add a new um, a new function in here, radio. So self dot um, character equals none because you don't have to have a character in a room. I've only got two rooms and we've got three characters. No, we've only got three rooms and two characters. So let's. I've saved that. I've made the inhabitant. I've now said that room can actually hold an inhabitant. So I now can come back to my main program and I can put a character into. Um, each of those rooms. So I'm just going to add characters rooms. Right, guys. So I'm going to put um, in the armory. I'm going to put Eugene because he needs to be careful with the axe. Um, oh, that's right. It was character. Character equals so armory character equals Eugene okay cool and then I'm going to put Nigel in the lab lab dot um, character equals Nigel 
Okay, so I've now put Nigel into the lab and I have put Eugene into the um, into the armory. And again, I'm going to run it and see if I haven't got a syntax error. So I haven't, so that's cool. I know that's fine. Quit. And now the next thing it wants me to do is to, now I've got the characters, I've made the characters, I've described the characters, I've given them a, a, a conversation, um, well, one of them has, and I've put them into the room. So what's the next thing it wants us to do? Next thing it wants to do, include the character, you know, I've got to create the character interactions. So I've got to talk the talk method, the hug method, and the fight method. So let's go and have a look back here. And I've got to go back to the character and make my methods down here. Remember, each method is its own function within the class. So the first one I didn't want to do was describe. I want to describe. And what do you want to describe? I want to describe self, whatever object this is being um, the method of. Um, it sends a um, description. Of the character to the terminal of the screen. Okay, so that's cool, and I'm just going to say print. I'm going to use an F string here. So it's an F string, and then I can say the name of the person because I can use it as a um, name of the character. I can use the variable within the curly brackets and an F string. Um, and name of self is here and then say what the self description is and then close the string off and then close the print statement off okay so i've described him that's that one come back up here what's the other task i wanted us to do he wanted to use the hug method radio so Let's see, um, define hug, and you know, self, so you're hugging the self, whatever character you're, you have come across, um, you attempt to hug them, and you use this method. The character responds to a hug. Okay, so that's cool. Now, at the moment, we're just going to say that the character doesn't want to hug you because we haven't got a response for the hug, have we? So um, it's just going to give you the cold shoulder. So again, F string, and that way I can include the variable in here, self dot name, and it doesn't want to hug you. Radio. So we've got that. So we've now got the hug. Um, methodology in there as well too. What's the last methodology that it wants to see is the fight method. So let's go over here. And actually I should get into the habit, try to get in the habit of having two spaces between each method. That makes a bit neater. Right, define and again fight and you're going to fight whatever character that you run this on and the character responds to a threat okay so print and at the moment because we haven't got anything to actually worry about the fight with again i'm using the format string and it's going to be put the variable in whatever the character's name is. Doesn't want to fight you. Okay, so we've done that. We've got those all set up. Um, that is our three methods that it wanted us to do. Let's have a look. Three methods, talk, hug, that. And now I've got to add these methods. Um, oh, I missed something here. I'm um, going to add these methods to the actual step, but I missed this part here. See, include character in room description. So I better go back over here while I can and say character in room description. So in room, so I just save the character there. In room, I'm going to come back here and it says, right, I've now got character here and describe. So I've said for direction in self. So in the initial description, you are in a room 
print self description. Right, now we need to see if there's someone in this room. So we say if self dot character um, is not none. Because remember, if, and we initially initialize it as none and then we add characters to right over the top of it. So if self dot character is not none, as in there is someone here, and self dot um, self dot character got describe there it is yep room self dot character dot describe um, describe okay open close so if self dot character is not none then you need to go to the room that you're in, whatever character is there, and then say it's description. So you actually see the way that the, the objects start interacting with each other here. So right here. So that's the case. If there is nothing there, it won't, if there's no one there, it won't say anything. So that's what we wanted to do. Cool. So let's gonna save that now. And let's go back to our main and let's run that and see if it says anything. So run. Oh, syntax error. Um, in not none okay so there should be room and it should say is not none that's better save let's go back to main and i'm going to run that radio you're in a room i'm so big that the south is the armory so let's go to south and here it should say something about eugene right you're in the armory the walls are lined with racks of the eugene is here a huge troll with rotting teeth awesome yay so we've now got our description of our characters there and if i say east into the lab i should see nigel is there so i've got all those being there now what i need to do is be able to interact with, them. with those three interactions i do with character describe hug self and fight so let's come back to here and put those into our main and put it into our list of commands so Let's go, list of commands. So I want to put it for the quit because that should be my last command. So I'm going to say LF and I'm going to say LF command, no. And remember it should be all lowercase because we've lowered whatever they've said. Um, so you don't have to worry about, about capitalization. Um, if command is equal to talk and if current room because remember our current rooms up here we describe what our current room is current room dot uh, character our current room dot character is um, not none okay so if you said you want to talk to them and if the character room if there's someone in the room so as in the character is not none then you basically want to say whatever the current room is then what you need to do is you need to whatever the current room is you need to see what the character dot talk method does okay so the else to this if so if there's a character there see what they says say or says see what they say if you talk to them if there's not a character there so that's the the other alternative is just simply say there is no one here to talk to so print um, talk to okay so there's no one here to talk to cool so what's that so it's a similar kind of process for a hug as well too so we can say elif command equals hug then we need to first off make sure that someone there is there to hug so if current room dot um, character is not none i.e someone is there then um, you want to find out how they respond current room dot character dot hug so this is how they respond if there is someone there and of course if there's no one there you need to let the um the user know that so you need to say print the 
There is no one here to hug. Okay. Get my. There we go. Radio. So finally, um, we are going to see what the fight option is. We need to add that in. So, bring out to the if statement here. Lf um, command equals fight. So, if command equals fight, then what we need to do is we need to say, first off, we need to check and see if there's a character in the room. So, current room dot character is not none someone is there if that's the case then we say current room dot character dot fight so we find out what the fight option is <coughs> and of course if there's no one there we just have to tell them that to fight And maybe you should just put spaces in all those. That's better. Radio. So let me see. We've got that there. We've got that saved. Let's save this. Make sure these have got no asterisks, so they're all saved. Let's run it and see what happens. Oh, um, okay. I forgot to close my inverted comma there. Let's try that again. Radio. To the south is the armory. So the south is the armory. So I'm going to go south, and we have got Eugene here. So I'm Eugene, I'm going to fight. And it says, Eugene doesn't want to fight you. That makes sense. And then I say, I want to talk. And, oh, didn't like that one. Um, talk, talk, talk. Fight, hug, talk. The command is talk. Okay, let's see what the problem is there. So it says, um, current room dot character talk. So if I go room and I say character, hug, fight, I didn't put talk in there. Oh, well, that's why. So let's come back to character here and let's say, um, now, so let's say define um, talk dot self. So we're going to talk to a character. We're going to say which character we're going to talk to, which is this one here. And then we will say, I need to send the conversation to the screen. Okay, and what I'm going to say is, you know, talk. Well, there is actually a chance they can talk because remember, we actually have assigned um, Eugene a talk here. So. Um, let's just say uh, print and again a format string and I can say that self dot name so whoever the self whoever the object is your characters you're talking to um, this is what they're going to say and they're going to say whatever we have assigned um, to their conversation um, attribute so I've closed that off but of course the other problem but I only can do that if the conversation is none so if self dot conversation equals no, is not none so if there's a conversation say what the conversation is else um, we can say print and just say that that character doesn't want to talk to you. Right, so let's try saving that now. So you see the importance of doing your testing. Um, so let's run that again. So let's see, I'm going to talk in here. There's no one here to talk to. I'm going to fight in here. There's no one here to fight to. And I'm going to hug in here. There's no one here to hug. Okay, so let's go south until we find Eugene. You're in the armory, the wars, okay, so I want to fight. Um, Eugene doesn't want to fight you. Okay, so let's say talk. Eugene doesn't want to talk to you. And hug. Eugene doesn't want to hug you. So let's go to the east now. And remember, 
Nigel has a conversation. We've assigned him a conversation, so he should be different. So the hug should be the same. Nigel doesn't want to hug you. The fight should be the same. I just want to fight you, but the talk should be different. Nigel, well, young man, young man, what are you doing here? So that's the way we wanted to do. We've gone through and we've tested all of those ones. So let's go back and just check our um, our to-do list. So here it is. So we've added the interactions mainly. We have created the talk method, the hug method, the fight method. We have made the characters, we defined the characters, we created them as there is and we included them in the description. So that's done everything that we want it to do. So let's see, what tasks do you need to do to complete this off? So your task is you need to create an additional room character. So you remember you made your fourth room, so you need to make an additional room character. Now that character may go in your special room that you've made, or that character may go into the cabin, because the cabin hasn't got a room. Now we haven't got the capacity for the rooms to have more than one character at the moment. Um, so it has to either go into the cabin, or you'll have to go into the room that you've created and added yourself. But other than that, we have that's what we need to do, and we now have our completed stage three of our Darkest Dungeon um, project.